All right, biggest comeback ever made on YouTube history is the PewDiePie comeback after the T-Series overlapped him, the PewDiePie overlapped him again. Guys, yes, I know I'm kind of behind, but let me show you how easy it is to make the best PewDiePie comeback feast ever. Big shout out to Sweden. Don't blink. Start off this, my twist, my take on Swedish meatballs, or Swedish feast. So, two pounds of ground beef here, two pounds of ground pork here, two this, half a tablespoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper, or white pepper, this is black pepper, teaspoon of this too, onion powder, we're gonna throw in one tablespoon of this, I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one tablespoon of paprika, but I'm gonna do a little more because I like paprika, all right guys? Okay, half a cup of breadcrumbs, like so. Take your egg, go bam, crack one in. You know what, I'm gonna do two because I like eggs, all right? <laughs> Next to this, take that beautiful clean ham of yours, get into it guys, get into it real good. As I sit, I got some potatoes here, or Yukon potatoes here, which I'm just gonna dump into the pool. Next, over here, we got some butter. So, gravy time. One tablespoon of butter here. Put you guys down. To this, two tablespoon of flour, like so. Cook the flour in with the butter. Once you got that cooked in, I'm gonna throw in one liter of beef stock here. Low sodium, like so. That's a leap, right? <laughs> Mix that in. Do this. Half tablespoon of onion powder. Teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of white pepper. Let that boil up. All right. All right. Thirty minutes has passed, guys. Just kidding. It's only been a few minutes. <laughs> just, just, just pretend, okay? Put this in for 30 minutes. Sure why? Because I have no time, guys. I have no time to wait 30 minutes. Just make sure you put it in for 30 minutes, though. Okay. Roll this into beautiful Swedish meatballs, like so. I have a cup of water here, too, just because it makes it way easier to roll. So it doesn't really stick to your hand. You want to make it a little jumble because when it cooks, it shrinks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? You got your balls? All right, meatballs nice and rolled out. All we're gonna do, take our beautiful meatball. Oven's preheated at 420. We're gonna toss it in for about 15 to 25 minutes, guys. Okay, gravy's thickening up nicely. Our potatoes. Let me see, let me see. We gotta move, guys, we gotta move. Quick time. Ow, pretty soft. Since it's soft, I'm gonna pour most of this water out, but I'm gonna leave maybe a cup in. Because I wanna keep my potatoes nice and moist. Here I have two nubs of butter going in like so. We take one of these and we mash it. Mash it up very well. Make sure your fire's off there when you start mashing it, alright? Right, potatoes nice and mashed, are we gonna do? Let's go half a tablespoon of salt or a teaspoon, don't matter. I'm gonna do this too. Gravy's nice and thickened. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. Not bad, guys. You gotta season it. Taste and adjust for your liking, alright? Like so. Ah. Uh, let's go onion powder in this too. Like so. Ah. Uh, white pepper. <laughs> Go as we go, I mean, throw in as we go, okay? That's the beauty of cooking, guys. Doing what you want. Oh, got some cream, too. Like so. I'm just gonna throw half a cup in here. I'm gonna throw half a cup in here. Boom, bam. Mix this up. Beautiful. Mix this up, beautiful. There it is, nice, beautiful, delicious gravy and mash and Swedish meatball complete cinnamon roll. So, to this, one cup of warm milk here. Ow, 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 or hot milk. <laughs> uh, one tablespoon of extra yeast. To feed this beautiful yeast, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sugar. Let this yeast activate. So you see all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. Two tablespoons of butter going in. 
I'm gonna do a tablespoon of vanilla extract or two, I don't know. <laughs> don't matter guys. I just wanna say that I ain't a baker. So two cups of flour going in. And nothing to it. Take that beautiful thing I have yours. Get into it guys. Get into it real well. And all we're looking for guys, we're making nice cinnamon soft bread rolls. This is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making nice beautiful cinnamon rolls or Swedish cinnamon rolls to be exact. All right, those nice and rolled out. All we're gonna do, cover this. And we're gonna take it over here, like so. Wait, wait, wait. There. Bring you guys over here. Beautiful Swedish meatballs are complete. Okay. Take this beautifulness out. I'm gonna dump it into my pot here, like so. Boom. I'm gonna let my oven cool out for a bit just because when I throw it in, just let it proof it's gonna be too hot. So, the beautifulness. Dump it in. Yes, guys, it's a little runny right now, but trust me, guys, when it cools down, it will thicken up, okay? All right, we're cool with that. There it is. Nice, beautiful Swedish meatball. Complete, just let them soak guys. Yes, guys, yes, I know. The gravy is a little runny right now, like I said before. Just wait till it cools down and it'll thicken up, all right? All right, take our bread, throw it in. I'm gonna leave the door open for now just because it's too hot. I'm just gonna let it cool down for about like five to 10 minutes and I'll close up the door, all right? Proof for 40 minutes. All right, next, toast gagging. So I got four pounds of cooked D-vein, D-shell shrimp here, which I just gonna blitz. Just blitz, like so. Throw it to your bowl. Do it again. Blitz. You guys good? You guys good? <laughs> oh man! I know I said I wouldn't drop you guys ever again. I just want to apologize. I just, I wasn't paying attention guys. This is pretty much the life of a cook guys. I'm dropping you guys many times. Abusing this camera many times. <laughs> just a lot of nonsense many times. So, I apologize. Never again, okay guys? So I got roughly around, I already know. Let's go. Three tablespoon of chopped dill. Yeah, I know it looks like a lot more, but it's okay. Okay, one lemon. Just beautiful. No seeds. Let's go a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. Then we go this. One cup of mayonnaise. Like so. Mix this in. There it is. Nice, easy, Swedish toastkagen. Maybe I put too much mayonnaise, I don't know. Nah, I think it's perfect. Just a little taste. Mmm. No, it's perfect. It's delightful. Big shout out to all the Canadians out there for the beautiful rye bread. So, I'm gonna do this. I don't know why I did that. Should just pull the whole thing out. So, rye bread down. I have a lot of that filling there. So I'm gonna drop a lot of these rye bread down. Olive oil. I know you guys use butter, but just getting a little healthier, guys. Gotta use that OE. The OE. The OO. What is OE? Olive oil. Why did I say OE? One side, two side. Alright, toast this up. All right, here we go. Time to roll up our cinnamon. So I got a cup of brown sugar. I got a cup of white sugar here. And I'm gonna throw in, man, I don't know, four tablespoon of cinnamon. 
Mix this in. There it is. Cinnamon sugar is complete. Time to roll our dough. Alright, here we go. Bread dough. A little flour on the counter so. A little flour on this spoon here. Scoop out your dough. Best scooper outer or bread scooper outer ever. Best investment. Okay. Take one of this. A little more flour on the counter. Like so. What are we making again? Oh yeah. Cinnamon roll. <laughs> Forgot guys. Sorry. I'm a little hungry. Okay. Roll this out into a nice little circle here. Life, guys. When I'm hungry, I just forget things, right? Forgive me, okay? Okay. Like so. Okay. It was beautiful. Okay. Butter. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Mix that butter in. Rub that butter in, actually. I love butter, guys. Butter is amazing. It's delicious. Cinnamon sugar. Mix that in. Oh, that's a wash. You got it done? I'm gonna wash my hands. Next, we roll. Should we roll it tight? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a baker, right? Just roll it. Just roll it like a snake. Big shout out to all the snakes out there. <laughs> you can't be trusted. I'm just saying, you can't be trusted. I got some snakes in the QT gang, guys. I want you guys to um, slither them out. They're there. Every time I pop up a video, I get a dislike. They're there, guys. They're part of the notification gang. One of them, or a few of them. Just gotta cut my grass thinner to see them, right? <laughs> you can't trust them, guys. You can't trust snakes. Just remember that. Somebody quote me on that. Somebody quote me on that in the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See? That's why you can't trust snakes. <laughs> Somebody quote me in the comment there. Can't trust snakes dash QT 2019. There it is. I don't need a baker wife. This doesn't make sense. Huh? How's that? You know what? It's all good. If my rolling skills didn't impress you, how about this? Crunch up, 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 crunch up! Did that impress you or what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, I got this little pan here. Pretty cool pan, right? I'm gonna do a little butter in there. Lots of good butter in there. You know what? I got a lot of butter in there. So who doesn't like butter? I like mayonnaise. I don't like butter that much. I like mayonnaise more than butter. Just to tell you guys. Okay. Take a roll. Throw it in. Like so. To be honest, guys. I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out. It's gonna turn out great. Cause you know why? Cause I made it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be like a nice bouquet of cinnamon rose. Well, hopefully. Okay. Proof one more time, 40 minutes before I start baking. All right, once you got them nice and proof, oven's preheated at 420. What am I doing? Toss it in the second low rack here. I'm gonna bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, next thing I heard, another classic, a Swedish kebab plate. So fries are cooked. I got some doner meat here. So, hey, 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 here, I wanna show you guys. In Canada, we call it doner, okay? We cool with that? Okay, sweet sauce, not sweet sauce. White sauce, not white sauce. Garlic sauce. I'm not sure on how Europe does it, but here in Canada, we make it sweet. So, mayonnaise, one cup of this. Come on. Two tablespoon of condensed milk. Just a tablespoon of garlic. 
pop on the lid. Mix it up. Nice, simple, easy garlic sweet nay nay sauce. <laughs> All right, next is like a tomato ketchup, which I saw. So I got some tomato sauce here, just regular tomato sauce. And I got the best ketchup ever, Heinz. So half cup of tomato ketchup or half cup of tomato sauce and three tablespoons of beautiful Heinz. Take this, mix this up. All right, last few things, guys. I know a lot of Swedish people like crawfish, guys. Here in Canada, we cannot get fresh crawfish. So next best thing, crawfish that is frozen and pre-made and pre-cooked. So, looks like this. A little napkin here, pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, next, take this. Nice, beautiful seasoned crawfish array. We're just gonna heat this up. Looks good, eh? Then we got our donair meat he's just heating up as well. All right, here we go, guys. Let's set this up. Biggest comeback piece ever. So, mash on this beautiful plate here. Swedish meatballs. Oh man. You know what? I should have got a bigger plate. That's okay. Still all good. Wild Lindenberry Jam. Best thing ever. Take a big scoop of this. Put it right there. Like so. We got our crawfish. Next, we take our fries here. Nice and big. And healthy. All right. Take our donair meat, pile it high. Pile it super high. All right, next to this, remember that red sauce we had? Gonna throw it here, like so. Our white sauce, or garlic sauce, like so. Slices of tomato here, a few slices of red onion, and I got some of this peppuccino, California peppuccino on the back here. Look how beautiful that is, huh? Toss it here, toss it on this side, yeah. All right, let's push this over a bit, like so. Push you guys over. Toast God. Nice. Remember our shrimp mixture. So. Oh, hi, hi, hi. You guys, we're still good. <laughs> we're still good. Like so. All right, next, our beautiful dessert here, which I did bake. <laughs> So here's the thing right here. It's nice and caramelized. Hopefully it comes on one piece. Uh, yep. Hopefully it does. Shabam. Ah, yeah. Okay. Gotta do this. Like this. Everybody close your ears. It's not that loud. Shabam. 
Shabam! Get out of there. Oh man. Look how sticky and yum that looks, huh? And yes, guys, I did bake this. I gave you guys a recipe. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, last thing on the list, guys. It's called store storming. I apologize, guys, if I said that wrong. I know I said that wrong. And I know this is not your traditional herring in the can here. But this is all I found, guys. It's herring in mushroom sauce. So it's pretty much canned fish. Oh, I'm going to dump it right here. Looks all right. That's fishy. <laughs> I was gonna say that as fishy like fish sauce or more fishier than fish sauce, but it's kind of like the same. Ay! Oh man, oh man, all over my face. Okay, this one's with the tomato sauce here. One second. I got some flatbreads here, which I'm just gonna put to the side. Also got this. Wasa. So wasa is, no, it's not wasa, sourdough rye. So it's these really stale crackers, I'll say. Like, most stalest thing ever. <laughs> okay, like so. I'm gonna top it off with some dill. Like so. Got tomato slices. We got some sliced red onions here. Like so. Got some of these pickles right here. They're pickle peppers. Just throw it on there like so. I got some sour cream here. Just put this on top. Like so. And I got a cube of soft butter here. Like so. And there it is, guys. This is Pewdie's Pie Big Comeback Feast from T-Series there. Big shout out to Sweden as well. How did I do? Hopefully I did you guys well. Only question now guys, T-Series fees or big PewDiePie comeback fees? Vote down below guys. All right, start it off. So I microwaved this a bit guys, just because I wanted it a little hot. I got some Lindenberry jam here. Let's get into it guys. Okay, I'm gonna break into my Swedish meatball. Oh, it's still a little hard, it's all good. So, meatball, uh, mashed potato, lingonberry jam. There you go, buy this. Quick time, quick time. Yeah, it's got it, nice. Super pumped for this. Mm, 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 mm. That's perfect. You can't beat homemade Swedish meatball. <laughs> you can be like, Ikea has the best Swedish meatball, guys. Try homemade, try this, try this recipe. Guys, another bite of this, quick time. This guy, nice. Super pumped for this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Perfectly seasoned. Why? Remember that half tablespoon of salt I put into the meat there? It's enough. Why? Because the gravy is a little salty. The, what's this stuff? Potato is a little salty. <laughs> then you bounce it off with a little sweetness here. Mmm. You know what this reminds me of? Or tasting profile of? Hawaiian pizza. Yep. You get salty. Creamy. Then you get that sweet. Mmm. From that Lindenberry jam. You can't eat this and tell me you don't like Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> you can't. Hawaiian pizza is amazing. Same with the um, Swedish meatball here. I 
Have you guys ever been attacked by nine-year-olds? <laughs> nine-year-olds online, guys. I'm not hating on nine-year-olds, but nine-year-olds online, when they get offended, guys, they'll go at you. <laughs> they'll say they'll do anything just to hurt your feelings. Did they hurt my feelings? Yeah, they did. <laughs> no, it was all good. All right, this is what I'm pumped for right here. This is the Swedish, what is it? The Swedish halaba? Is it Swedish? No, that's in Australia. Swedish plate, that's what it's called. The Swedish plate. So, a bit of that meat, a bit of that fries. Some onion, oh man. Some tomato and a hot pepper. Guys, let's do this. One whole bite. Okay, open up. Quick time. Let's get it. Quick time. Hey. Come on. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm. This has to be a traditional, not a traditional Swedish beef. What do we call it? A treat in Sweden. Mmm! You have everything going there. I don't know why I'm showing this plate here. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, now your classic Swedish feast, or Swedish um, dish. But I heard a lot of Swedish people love it. Call me if I'm wrong. Toskagen, by this, quick time. Let's get it, nice. Super pumped for this. I know it's gotta be good, do you know why? Cause I tried it already. <laughs> mm. I tried it when the bread's warm. That was amazing. And it's still delicious with stale bread. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice, simple, fresh, delicious ingredients. You can't go wrong. <laughs> I think the only thing that I'm missing right now is the absolute vodka, right? Mm. Mm. Okay. Crawfish. Yes, guys. We cannot, I repeat, we cannot get fresh crawfish here. Why? I don't know. Somebody messed it up for us. So, on the package it says, yes, on the package, or the package I got it, it said not to eat the head. Why? I don't know. It's a little gunky here. Or is it the, what is that stuff called? The poop? Okay. Excuse me for my newbiness, okay? Okay. this. Quick time. Crawfish. Let's get it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. Mmm. 
And that's very tasty, guys. I'm not sure if I want to eat this gunk. Yes, I know I do suck it a lot, but when the box says don't suck the head, <laughs> I don't know why, but it said do not suck the head. Crawfish is all right, guys. It does just taste like mini shrimp or mini lobsters. The hype is, I guess, mm, I guess if you live in a state or a city that grows crawfish or crawfish is a staple, it's very delicious. But here in Canada, guys, I don't know, to me, it seems a little too tiny. Like a lot of work. A lot of work for a little, a little bit. I don't know why I said do not suck the head. Cause the gunk is on in here too. The flavor on this guys is very good. These crawfish came from China. I don't know, maybe they said don't suck the head because I don't know. Seasoning and everything is delicious. First time ever trying Storstermin. Apologize guys if I said that wrong, but I've, I've searched online on how to eat Storstermin and I've seen this one video where these two couples were just eating Storstermin. Did I say that wrong again? And this is what they did. They had butter and they had flat, oop. I think I toasted this too much, but it's all good. So, that's what they did. And they actually looked really good when they did it. Like they were just like running or kind of just like running through it. Yeah, running through it. And it looked very appetizing. So they had butter. They had some dill on this. Does PewDiePie eat this? <laughs> I haven't seen him eat this. Where's that true Swedish in him, huh? Okay. They did onions. I think they did tomato. They did this fish here. They said it's the most smelliest fish. I say so. It smells like fish sauce to me. It smells good. <laughs> but the thing is, they had like whole fish. They didn't have these fillets here. They kind of just like cleaned it on their own, which is very interesting. But this is what they did. So I'm just going to do the same, all right? Uh, I think they put tomatoes. Did they put tomatoes? I don't know. They did this. Looks good, right? Okay. I'm gonna pull out another spoon for this. Sour cream. They put sour cream on it. I think they did. There. There it is. I'll buy this, guys. Quick time! It's got it. Nice. Alright, here we go. First time ever trying store swimming. Guys, quick time. He's got it. Nice. Pump for this. It just tastes like tuna. Mmm. A little fishier than tuna. I see a lot of people just eat this, just by itself, like just the fish by itself. Mmm. This way is definitely delicious. Nothing bad about that. Mm. Let's try this. I've seen this. This right here, see? So this stuff right here from Wasa, it is a product of Sweden. Where did it say? I remember seeing it somewhere. Product of Sweden. So, look at this. I was like, ooh, looks good. Looks like lindenberry jam and some brie cheese. So, got some brie cheese. Cut this up. 
like so. Cheese like this, guys, is very hard to karate chop, so I had to pull out a knife for it, all right? We're cool with that. <laughs> okay. Brie cheese. How many slices do I have? Three slices. Let's do three slices too. Why not, right? And some lindenberry jam on it. So I got a half a teaspoon. Oh, that's a half a teaspoon? <laughs> Let's do <laughs> Three half a teaspoon. There he is. Look like the picture? Huh? Huh? Right, let's do let's eat what's on the picture. Huh? I should do that, eh? Eat what's on the picture. Okay, guys. Nice. Want this quick tack? I'm not even sure what it's called. It's called Wasa. Quick tack. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. I feel like I'm gonna crack some teeth. Mmm. Mmm. It's always getting my face. Oh, the autofocus is always getting my face. It's not bad. Eating this wax is weird. It's just like cheese and crackers. But the cracker is very stale. Or very dry, I mean. Mm. But the lean berry jam, whole new level. Mm. Whole new level of flavor. Yep. Mm. All right, bakers, how did I do? Look at that. Nice and beautiful. Guys, nice. buy this quick tap. Yeah. You know, everybody likes the middle part. Let's get it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. That is very tasty. Mmm. I really like this chewy consistency. You know how some cinnamon rolls are soft? I think the reason why it's soft is because they roll it thicker. I roll it a little thin, but the consistency is nice. There's like a chewy, like raw, doughy deliciousness. <laughs> That's it! Everybody's welcome by to grab some. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your pop shirts. Like this. Share this. Peace out. <laughs>